government is making an attempt to revamp the rail sector. After more than a year of dormancy, the Accra Tema shuttle train is back on track. What are the prospects therein for government and Ghanaians in general? Let's have a conversation on this episode of News Connect on City TV. My name is Kujo Ajman. Stay tuned. What was the experience like? Well, it was uh, fantastic. Um, I earlier had a nostalgia for a train ride. And uh, when I had the opportunity today, I satisfied that aspect of me. And uh, having uh, ridden on a train a week ago, the speed train in Nigeria, I felt, wow, the speed train system is virtually coming to Ghana. And the uh, government eventually is making good its promise of revamping the railway system. Uh, for me, it's going to be uh, a way of creating jobs for people, specialization, especially as we have been told that uh, a railway school has been opened in Takuradi. So it's, uh, it's wonderful uh, for the economy. It will also save our roads from the heavy trucks, which uh, make us uh, incessantly spend money for the uh, repair work, which we do all the time. I'll come back to you. Um, I don't know, what was your experience like um, getting on a revamped um, coach? Well, I used to board the train uh, since 2001. Uh, but today is a different. I see a different on the road. Uh, there's no shaking. And I see you feel comfortable with the train. So we are amazing how they work through to this point. What was your experience too? Yeah, this is my first time I bought a train. I was very enjoyment. I'm very, very happy for that. Then the government has done very, very good things for. All right. So, it, in terms of job creation and then opportunities, what do you think um, is in stock for the country as we have opened this new um, uh, line? Well, it rather help the jobless to get job because now they are going to bring more. Um, coaches and people work on it so it will help the nation uh, well yeah. and you see we the people in Kantamand we have a problem because we have to open a gate for us to come and board the train but if you don't open a gate for us then the train will be empty yeah so we are calling the minister to open a gate for us that's our challenge here one of the questions on the minds of many Ghanaians is, is sustainability. We know that you have inter-regional rail system and then inter-district rail system. Can you update us on these developments? But the two questions you asked me are not related. Sustainability <laughs> and inter-regional. So answer the sustainability first. Yes, I mean, we are aware that one of the challenges of any railway uh, development scheme or project is sustainability. It's capital intensive to manage it also. Uh, requires some thinking. So we are taking steps, we are thinking through. I mean, it's, you see, people see the railway and they think it's just a simple matter of putting, there's a lot of work to be done. So we've done this, it's, this is, even this is still work in progress. It's enough that passengers will climb and everything, but we have to ensure that it's sustainable. We have to ensure that within four, five, six, seven years time, we are improving our fleet, we are buying more locomotives, we, are, we keep on working on the line. You never stop working on the line. So it's an expensive venture and we have to make it sustainable. We have plans in, in place, but we don't want to telegraph them just now. Yes. At the appropriate time, we'll let the people of Ghana know. Um, how far have you reached? Because we know that you have, um, you're putting up a school in um, UNE, uh, University of um, Technology in Takwa and all that. There's a, it's, a, it's a school that is being established in Sekendi Takwadi, not Takwa. But we are partnering with the University of Mines and Technology of Takwa. I mean, I can show you the pictures on my phone. They are tying the school now as we speak. So, but it's not just the fiscal structure. I mean, the school, the university have um, brought forward uh, proposed syllabus. You know, there's an accreditation board and so on. So we are working hard. Hopefully by August we'll be able to open it. Some have argued that, well, this is a, a huge sector that governments need to just give it out to a foreign investor and then later on do their build or pre transfer. Uh, do you buy into that idea or we should do partnership for now? We are doing, all the, all, all, we are doing ourselves some of the lines 
the rehabilitation, we funded it. Some of the lines we are doing BOT, some of the lines we are doing what you call partnership, BOT with local participation. So we are doing different financial models for the different lines, depending on the circumstances of each line. Yeah. At what point would I get a train from Accra to, say, my, my hometown in Bichim, in the Bonohafo region, the Tano South District? You will get it when we finish, start constructing the central line, and when we finish the Accra Kumasi line as well. And if you ask me that when that will be, I'll say it will be sooner than you expect. Right, thank you very much, Anna. <laughs> well, this this is a very very vibrant um, development in our country because for me, this is my first time I've been on a train. I don't know about you. <laughs> well, I've I've had had the opportunity to ride this particular one doing the test rides and also trains uh, elsewhere. But uh, it's exciting to have the trains back uh, on the tracks in Ghana once again. Now let's talk about urban development and then decongestion from our cities because of um, this development. For you, traffic is very, very uh, is key on your agenda. You want to decongest the city. This will bring urban development for the government. A lot of people will move to the hinterlands because of the ride. How do you feel as a mayor of Accra? Well, I'm, thank you very much. You know, the urban mobility is the lifeblood of the city. How people are able to move freely and conveniently within the city center, and that will trigger economic development and social development within the city center. Um, a lot of people that commute into the city of Accra come with vehicles. Um, Accra has a resident population of about 1.9 million, and during the day, um, we have an influx of people of about close to 2 million. So we are struggling with about 4 million people within, during the day and uh, the shuttle service that has come what is going to do is that a lot of people are going to leave their cars and then use it and the people that also come into the city they use either trotro they use their private vehicles and some of them are going to leave it and then board the the, the the train and for me it's very important we need to explore all means of transportation you know to be able to, to, to decongest the city and also trigger economic development this shuttle service also provides people with cheaper faster reliable and more schedule, you know, means of um, transportation because um, when you are coming to the city center, you have um, you, you can't anticipate the what the traffic, traffic from Adabraka to yeah. the Accra Central area is terrible because Accra remains as the hub of all economic activities. The informal economy is here. All the major markets in Accra are within the central business district. Central government offices are within the. The central business district and then the head office of most corporations are also within there so everybody troops into the central business district that's why you get an influx of additional two million people coming into the city there. and if because of that you need to find a way of creating alternative means in fact 53 percent of the people within the central business district you know work as a means of movement and if people have all that means of moving in a more free and faster way they will they will choose that that option uh, okay. I'm, I'm quite excited to to join the train though right. how, how will this boost government's urban development agenda well you know the development of the city itself and the redevelopment of the city has been a challenge that has been around for a while now and it becomes a challenge because the transportation network uh, has questions you know, associated with it. You were just talking about the traffic in the central business district. What it therefore means is that, for example, rentals, as you spiral out of it, are more, or as you spiral close to it, are more expensive. If you have railway networks that are efficient, are working on time, are comfortable, then you can have people spiral, not necessarily living close or fighting or struggling to live close within. But then, you know, people can spread out knowing that they can get into the district uh, effect effectively, efficiently, uh, and on time as well. So this is a good thing. What we need to do is to get more coaches on the rails, get more people using it, get those who are using paying. Remember the last time you had incidents where people would rather hang on to the site and not pay. It costs money to run any single shuttle. So what we need to do is to ensure that people are paying for it. This time we have insurance on it, we have banks associated with it, and other ancillary business activities. We have to make it commercially viable so that it stands the test of time.